Well, showdown over sugary drinks tonight. A uh, San Francisco law requiring drinks on uh, warnings rather on soda ads is fizzling away. Night beats Betty. You reports that it's all about freedom of speech and size. Betty. That's right, Ken. The San Francisco ordinance was part of a national effort to get people to stop drinking sweet drinks for health reasons. Today, the court said that beverage companies would suffer irreparable harm if this law went into effect. In a victory for big soda makers, today a federal appeals court ruled that a San Francisco ordinance requiring health warnings on advertising for sugary drinks violates the First Amendment. The American Beverage Association said, we are pleased with this ruling, which affirms there are more appropriate ways to help people manage their overall sugar consumption. The ordinance was first passed in 2015, requiring ads on billboards and posters within the city to include a warning that drinking high sugar beverages contributes to health problems, including obesity and diabetes. KPIX5 political analyst Melissa Kane. The court went through the analysis and said, we just think this is unduly burdensome. The soda industry is probably going to win on the underlying case, so we're going to stop this law from going into effect. The judges granted a preliminary injunction and kicked the case back to a lower court. The court also found that the warning, which would cover 20% of the ad space, was too large and suggested 10% might be legal. Communications director for the city attorney said, this decision is solely about the size of the warning label. We're evaluating our next steps in light of this decision. Any kind of a warning, it's like a cigarette warnings. When they put those on the packs, it made me think a little bit. And without that on there, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, if you really want that soda, you're going to drink it. Senator Scott Weiner, who authored this ordinance, said he is optimistic it can be amended to pass judicial muster. This way, consumers can get accurate information about sugary drinks. On the Night Beat, I'm Betty Yu.